Right, so the ambassador trial is a phase three trial that evaluated adjuvant pembrolizumab, PD-1 inhibitor, in high-risk muscle invasive urothelial carcinoma. And as we know, in this situation, adjuvant nivolumab is already approved based on Checkmate 274. And so this is a second trial that looked at uh, adjuvant PD-1 inhibition, pembrolizumab, which showed an improvement in disease-free survival. The hazard ratio was around 0.7. The median disease-free survival approximately doubled from around 14 months to a little over 28 months. So uh, we think this could be practice changing and this was also uh, published in the New England Journal concurrently with the mini oral presentation here. So we expect, we anticipate uh, approvals are coming. Now there was not a survival improvement seen at this uh, time point. There might be further follow-up that's required for that. Uh, and this is, of course, confounded by post-progression therapy. So at the moment, I think we think that the pembrolizumab represents an addition to the therapeutic armamentarium. Interestingly, there was not um, a difference based on PD-L1 expression in the tumor. There was some trend towards uh, more benefit in bladder primary as opposed to upper tract uh, lesions, especially renal pelvis lesions. But these are all sub-analyses. So with this, we think is overall an addition to the therapeutic armamentarium.